viewers, this is Rise. Welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. Today we're gonna Avenge Robo! Okay, these guys, these guys aren't too hard. What you want to do is you want to use Cyclone on the center one. Two Cyclones will take out a group of three. Now, one thing you can do is dequip your uh, Rage Band off of Chrono, because he could theoretically counter the middle one and kill him, and that would be kind of bad. <laughs> Because then you wouldn't be able to hit them all with Cyclone. But it's really not necessary. Uh, keep keep Marley on standby for Aura. Anyway, I'm, I'm really sorry about taking such a long time off. But, uh, I really had a lot of schoolwork to do. Uh, papers, projects, other things. Yeah, keep your HP up, up say 70. But uh, to make up for it, in the next day or two, I'll be posting up a video... Revealing my next main LP series and my next side LP series, so look forward to that. Uh, I won't be starting them yet, obviously. Uh, that'd be kind of ridiculous. But anyway, these guys will actually get harder as more and more of them die. Their AI script will change. Uh, eventually, they'll start throwing you around and throw you into each other. And then they'll start doing this move, Area Bomb, which will hit both your characters for about 50 damage, which... Is not good. Yeah, that's aura. And ah, physical attack can do it from here. Overall, these guys are pretty easy. Nothing to really worry about. Robo! I'd say so. Oh, well. I didn't like the guy anyway. Oddly enough, if you brought Luca, she'll say, let's go back to the factory. Or not the factory, to the protodome. It's like, why? You, you can't fix him in the middle of the factory? Wouldn't moving him be a bad idea? Well, I suppose he's not really human, so... Eh, whatever. What do I know? He can talk without a head? Well, I, I guess he doesn't... His voice box probably isn't in there. Whatever the hell robots use to talk, I don't really know. We'll have to ask Gato when we get back. Okay, so you're useless, Robo. Awesome. He's probably just gonna stay here and die. Alright. Of course, she's Luca. Alright. Sure, I'll try and save the planet and erase the future I was born in. Why not? I hate my life anyway. I'm a stupid little robot. Whoa, and I mess up gates too. Nice going, Robo. Freaking loser. Where the hell is this? Huh. It's over here. What's this? Yeah, that'll restore your HP and MP. This little shiny thing here. Save point, obviously. Uh, never use a shelter on this save point because you have this right here. This will be acting as your base of operations for, well, the rest of the game. Really? The end of time. So what does that even mean? Does this mean this is where nothing, will, where everything, where nothing exists anymore? Is that what it? Is that a real theory? Honestly, is there really an end of time in that theory if it even exists? I don't think it would look like this. Sure, we don't want you to have four party members. Well, at least they give you an excuse. I'm like Final Fantasy VII. Oh, it might be dangerous traveling in a group of five. God forbid. Okay, uh... Yeah, I want to stay with this party for a little bit. Okay, so those Pillar of Lights are gates. Interesting. Um, this is another gate. But just ignore that for now. 
What? What now, you old man? Oh, let's go into the room behind him. Alright. This is how you specchio, huh? Ah, you look weak. Basically, you can fight this guy, and uh, his form is dependent on your level. Now, there's actually a form below this where he's a frog, and that your average party level has to be 10, which means you'd have to run away from almost every fight, because Robo actually starts at level 10. It only goes by your uh, average party level. Clockwise, right? Yeah. Okay. So just uh, hug the wall. Careful with the door there. You can get kind of caught there. Oh, crap. Ah. This is really annoying. That one probably didn't count. If you go off just a little bit, it'll screw you up. So I think that's two. I don't know. Let's go one more time after this. It doesn't matter if you go over. You just have to do three or more. Which is kind of amusing. They corrected that in Chrono Cross. We did it, alright. And now we're going to get magic. And now that we have magic, we can actually learn more text. So, that's nice. But essentially, Chrono gets lightning, Marley gets ice, and Luca gets... Fire. Now, ice magic is just classified as water in this game, so there you go. There is an actual water magic. No, not yet. I want to rearrange my party. Anyway, I want to fight this guy, so that I, I don't want to use this party, so I'm going to take rearrange my party, and I'll be right back. Okay, back now, and uh, unfortunately, Robo cannot use magic, but his laser spin there does do lightning damage, or, or shadow damage, so that's nice. So basically what we want to do here is cast Lightning with Chrono over and over again and use Marley and Robo to heal. Now you could also use, use, uh, what is it there, Chrono, Marley, and Luca and just go all out. That would be, that would be pretty, pretty acceptable. But uh, the problem with Speccio is he's just so fast that you either need to take him out as soon as possible with, you know, the Chrono Marley Luca all out strategy, or play a conservative and get a little bit of luck. Uh, I prefer the conservative strategy, because either way, you're going to need luck. And now is the time to use Aura World. All right. He's going to need it more. Probably Robo, because his magic defense is not so hot. Marley should survive. Yeah. She should survive another one, too. As long as he doesn't gang up on one character, you're okay. But again, his speed is just incredible. But you want to fight this guy, right now, trust me. Otherwise, you'll lose the opportunity to, because he'll quickly change to another form. Yeah, your physical attacks will do nothing. Including your physical-based techs. Only magic ever works on this guy. Or magic-based techs. Maybe not magic in general, but... Your magic-based techs. He's actually pretty tough, as I'm sure you've seen. But, uh, we should get him. This should probably do it. I hope. Ah! You gotta be real fast and active. You may actually want to drop it to wait. No shame in that, believe me. Not in this fight. Did I get him? No, not quite.
should get him. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, you can see the elemental system in a battle like this, as Marley is taking more damage from fire-based attacks, but... Really, for the most part, I wouldn't worry about it. And we got him! Alright. Anyway, uh, we get a magic tab for that, which I'm going to use on Robo. Uh, but that's about all the time I really have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Let's Play Chrono Trigger, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day, guys!